All right, guys, we're going to look at the finals here. It's going to be Jelly Van Kampen versus Owen Kammerman. Gimme Goal versus... Is that Chiampao? Wow! 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 Chiampao, I don't know why I feel like he's 100% Chinese. I don't think that's racist to say that Chiampao is from China. Probably, potentially. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Yikes. It's like uh, Mr. Smith is from uh, probably the United States of America. Anyways, let's focus here, guys. Battle VIP start. Bibiril, Bidoof in the front active position. Yikes. You don't want to see that. Hopefully, we're going to be able to retreat that quickly or play just another Bidoof. We'll see. Now, Gelé, Van Comprehen. I don't think he can get that first KO turn one with the Gimme Gold. You do need to wait to stage one. Which is actually very simple, really easy to do. Wow, we go for the Chiang Pao here. Let's get the draw in. Picking up two energies. These energies, guys, it sounds weird. Like, why the hell do you want two energies? But what's happening is we are, I mean, if you were able to Radiant Greninja there, it would have been more valuable. But what you want is you want more cards that you can discard. You also want to discard your energies out of the deck or chase them, find them out of the deck because you want to know where they are, you want to have control over them because you can do a lot of work, you can pick them up from your trash with Super Energy Retrieval you can uh, keep them in your hand to do a big Super Cold attack only one Super Energy Retrieval is what we get, we lose a Chiang Pao and uh, let's see if that hurts us in any way we pass here yeah, we don't have anything, just a bunch of energy retrieval energies. And now one thing that could have been nicer for Owen to do is maybe play the uh, Radiant Greninja. But to be honest, guys, and we did find the Chiang Pao also. So maybe the Battle VIP Radiant Greninja would have been the right play, but we don't know. We'll see. If it, uh, I'm not even sure if he had one energy before he picked up his energy. Let's see what Gimme Go wants to start with the game with. He goes for a Radiant... Wait, what's happening right now? What did he do? I guess he started the, the turn with a Pokestop and uh, picked up two items, really good for him. Sifting through his deck, we do see a Palkia in this Gimme Goal, so he's running one of those uh, Gimme Goals with the Palkias in them that can uh, support it really well. The Radiant Greninja can also activate with that Palkia, can do a bunch of work in the in the back end here. And Owen is running a deck that really wants a, a supporter in the back end. So if we can deal with that supporter, honestly, this is going to be really nice to see. I would love to see if this pack is going to be used this game. That's going to be insane. We might be able to actually go for it. I, I wonder if it pack is just like a late game supporter. Or do you actually want to run it first? We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Let's see what Jedi wants to make with this deck. He's going to go for the Gimme Go Manaphy here. Yeah, that makes sense. Honestly, against Xiang Pao. You're, he's almost 100% consistently going to be able to Radiant Greninja turn one. It's one of his biggest strategies. Of course, he needs the Radiant Greninja first. We don't see it on board. We don't see an area that we don't see anything in, in Owen's hand that can really help him, actually. Uh, pretty much one one piece of uh, a lot of things. But there's a Radiant Greninja. Uh, I, sus I suspected that he was there. So Gimme Gold could be activating the Radiant Greninja later. To get a couple of kills. If we don't get this B barrel, uh, Bidoof into a B barrel, that's gonna be big. Jale is gonna be passing here potentially, or does he play? Yeah, where, there's there's one more battle VIP, right? That's a battle VIP, right? Am I seeing things? Not sure. Okay, earthen vessels. Very interesting. And he finds a V star Palkia. Very interesting. I think he's gonna go for the V. Yeah, there's the Battle VIP. Wait, what? He actually discards the VIP? That's crazy. I've never seen anyone do that. For what? You actually don't you need the VIP? That's crazy. Is this a real shuffle? Oh, are you actually shuffling the deck when you do something like this? Anyways, who cares? That's crazy. Because you could have maybe set up one more Gimme Goal and got a Palkia on board. 
that would have been perfect. And I doubt you really are going to miss a single card in your hand that much. I mean, I see that. What is that? A oh, that's why. He already has everything he needed in his hand. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Let's see here. Does Gimme Goal, does Gimme Goal go back? I don't think you care about it. Let's see here. What is he going to do? There's not much you could do here. You just pass. What was that? He... Flip a coin until you get Tails to stack does 20 damage. Oh, he actually did the attack. Okay. <laughs> Immediately got Tails. Poor guy. Poor guy. Okay, now I know what happened. It was continuous coin toss. Smart attack. Let's see here. We start with Chiampao thinning out our deck before we Pokestop. Good idea here. Let's see the Pokestop activate. We need uh, a lot. We need... Oh my god, yes. We got exactly what we needed. We literally needed an Ultra Ball. So badly. Okay, finally we can do something. We can uh, go into... Well, wait. Do we actually run Luminium? I don't think you run Luminium. So... Do we just be barrel and kind of figure out a way to ditch our hand? Let's see what we want to do. That's crazy. He has a bunch of small pieces, but he doesn't have everything he needs. This is tough. Uh, oh, two backscalibur. No, no, no. There's not two backscalibur. Those are two champows. Okay, we're going to find what? A th oh, he has a fourth champow. What is that? A cram? No, no. Frigibax. I'm not understanding. Let's see. Let's see how Owen is going to do this. I mean, he needs so many people. He needs to find Erida somehow. He's not finding her. He needs Erida so bad. I don't think he has her in his hand. He can't find her. Cross-switcher is not going to be enough. Oh, man. What are you going to cross-switch her for? There's nothing going to cross-switch her. A man fee? Wow. Yikes. Okay, another gimme goal. Okay. My head hurts so bad right now. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, my head hurts so bad. What's happening? Oh! Oh! I'm in literal, I'm in literal pain. Pain, I feel it in my heart. Oh! What's he doing? Oh, he's I, I get it. I get it. Oh, damn it. I get it. Reducing the hand as much as possible. Oh, damn it. We'll see. Guess we could be barrel. Oh, no. He passes. Doesn't even drop the B-Doof. Oh, I'm not going to lie, guys. Very... Tough start for the Owen here. He's going to start getting controlled by the Gimme Goal. I think Gimme Goal is one of the most consistent decks after Chiam Pao. So it's going to be on the same level as Chiam Pao and consistency. Being able to output so much, like a really big amount of damage. Very easy, basically, is the way. I, like when I described consistency, is being able to push out so much damage with just the need of that one super energy retrieval. Also, an earthen vessel can do a lot. Exactly the same. Honestly, I think Chiampao and uh, Gimme Goal have pretty much the same damage output. I would say Gimme Goal has a little bit more. But the thing about... Uh, sorry, I would say Chiampao has a little bit more. But the thing about Gimme Goal is he's not reliant on his backboard. He can actually push that damage himself. He doesn't need... An Irida, he doesn't need a Backscalibur to push, uh, to give him anything. He could just leave that stuff on, on his hand. There's a Cross Switcher. Nice start there. Jelly is very happy. There's the championship. I like to see this in the championships. I want to see some amazing draws. I want to see the magic happen. Where's the Jin contracts? I want them to start working. What the hell is the use of all these Jin? All right, we're going to Cross Switcher in the beat. Oh, which is now going to be looking like, why the hell did we not drop our Bidoof that's in our hand as well? Now we're going to... Damn it. Now we're just... We're always like one turn behind. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Radiant Greninja can do a lot here, guys. Oh my god. Palkia activates the Radiant Greninja. 
This is insane. We didn't even need to bring in the Bidoof. If we get these Frigi backs out of the game, that's pretty much it for Owen. He's going to pro probably scoop this whole thing. And then we draw three. There's the puck stop. We could play that if we want to. But I don't think you do. Yeah, you just discard. Yep, two fridge backs are gone. Oh my god, dude, this is insane, bro. So with Palkia, you literally become a Chiang Pao deck. You're just better than him. <laughs> you do everything better than he does it. That's crazy, because he's so heavy reliant on his support Pokemon, whereas you literally just need the actual Pokemon with the piece behind it. It's like, okay, yeah, I already Greninja relies on the on the Palkia really heavy. That's it. Gimme Gold does not rely on anything. Gimme Gold relies on an Earthen Vessel and a Superior Energy Retrieval to be in your hand. That's it. It doesn't need to be anywhere else. It's actually really, really good. Also, it's a stage one Pokemon, so it's consistent. You don't have to rare candy it or anything. You can't TM Devo it out of the game. Very consistent deck. Yeah, of course, if you're looking for a consistent deck, Gimme Goal is the way. It's actually amazing to see it in this finals. There's the Gimme Goal here. Damn it, Owen's just passing, unfortunately. He just did not find the pieces with no Frigibax on board. To be honest, I don't know why he's even still playing the game. I get it, he wants to get one attack in with the Chiampao, but uh, it's really not going to do much for him. Goldingo is just not going to let him catch up in any way. All right. Amazing items with uh, Pokestop. He's really hitting his magic right now. Jale is just doing everything he wants. So easy. There's the Erida. We can have one more cross with Sure. Wow, this is going to be really nice. Owen should just scoop. I guess Owen wants to see if he could do something. The hand is not... I mean, he literally cannot do anything. Now he loses his champ out. I guess he just doesn't want to scoop in the finals. I get it. I get it. You don't want to scoop in the finals. But, I mean, this is just... Tilting at this point. Uh, if I was Owen, I'd be, like, really tilted. I don't think my deck ever wants to do this. The deck doesn't really usually do this. So, it's a little bit frustrating for him, I'm sure. Let's see what Jale wants to do. Fortunate Owen has to wait for Jale to make his whole turn before he can only draw that one last piece. <laughs> Just to make sure that he's actually lost this game. I think he's going to draw one more card before he scoops here. Jale is just consistent here, pushing out all the energies, putting him back up into his hand. Just to can make sure he's got that KO. Huge, huge KO there. 250 damage. Nice job. Nice job. Gimme give give me go. It's just such a such a strong deck, guys. Those numbers with energy just being in your hand, that's crazy. That's insane. There's the puck stop hitting numbers. Owen is just so far behind. He needs to get six prizes past his turn. I mean, there's only one prize now. I guess he's slowed down Jelly. It's just he's... If he gets his Frigibax, that's it. If he gets one more boss, that's game. Yeah, look, Owen just scoops finally. Figures out, like, what the hell am I doing? Why am I wasting my time? I need to I need to have a good next game. I need to have a nice next game. I just started off a little bit iffy. We didn't hit the area that early, so it's fine. It's fine. Let me just restart. I think that's smart from Owen. I think he just restarted. There's the area to turn one. Ah, oh, no, he had to... Damn it, he wanted the air, then now he has to actually shuffle the hand. That sucks. <coughs> okay. Battle VIP there. Chin Pog in the active, exactly where we want it to be. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Let's see, let's have a real game here. Chiampao is starting, I think. He wants to start. He doesn't get hurt by starting. Starting out by thinning out the deck. Looking through everything, sifting through. 
Can also use his battle VIP right now to pick up what he needs. Which is probably going to be a Frigibax. And uh Bidoof. That's pretty much it. You could end your turn there. Oh, we have Bidoof in hand. So maybe a Radiant Greninja Frigibax. Helps with the consistency in the deck. There it is. Radiant Greninja Frigibax can help us a lot. Especially with all the energy we're drawing. One Chimpao, two Chimpaos, two Chimpaos in the deck. I see one Baxcalibur. I see one Baxcalibur, okay. All right, let's see if Owen's gonna hit this number. Owen can discard, draw, play Bidoof down, and that's pretty much it. That's all he's gonna do here. Pass his turn. Gaming Goal is going to try to go for the Battle VIP. If he has it. There's the Concealed. There's the Irida in hand now. This Oh, double Irida. This is great. Okay, pass. We do pass. This is feeling really nice, I'm sure. Do you attach? Actually, you don't need to attach. Okay. Sure, attach. Nice. Nice turn for Owen. Now he has everything in his hand. I hope to God he doesn't get Ionoed. No, no, no Iono against him. There's the Earthen Vessel. Tossing out the energy. Getting two energies in here is going to be nice. Gimme Goal is just such a strong deck, guys. Literally doesn't care what the energy you're playing is. It's amazing. I'm just so happy that I have a decent matchup against it as Charizard because if I didn't, I would be really, really sad. And we're going to have a better matchup with Maximum Belt. We're going to have a much better matchup. Being able to get a KO after he gets one of my KOs is going to be amazing. What is Jale going to do here? Has the, has no battle VIP passes. I see one the whole deck. Two. That's it. There's only two. I think he priced the rest. There's only two battle VIP passes in this whole deck. Okay, there's three. There's three. There's three. Man, he needs to figure out a way to get that battle VIP in his hand right now. I don't see a way. I don't see a way. I see an Ultra Ball. I don't see a Luminion. Damn. I don't think I don't think he can get that in his hand. So you just play the Gimme Goal down. Damn it. He needs a way to get the Manaphy on board as well because Radiant Greninja is going to get a kill almost guaranteed next turn. With the Erida on board, he's going to do it. I'm actually surprised people actually play Chimpa. Why don't you just play Goldengo? Isn't it just easier? It's like the same deck just does better. It's easier to push out the damage. You don't have to attach it. You can just discard it. It's literally the same deck as Chimpa. Just one less step. You don't have to put it into your Pokemon. You just discard the energies. Yeah, look. He even uses Iridas. There's the Manaphy. Strong Irida there. Really strong. Absolutely amazing. Irida's really good in this deck. You could get Palkia, Arabian Greninja, you can get Manaphy, you can get so many options there. Any all any item you want. Basically better better than Arvin, to be honest. Honestly, if Arvin was pick up Pokemon. If I had any water Pokemon, I would be running uh Irida. that's so good because usually i'm always looking for an ultra ball so if i can get ultra ball ultra ball or rare candy pokemon that's freaking crazy if i can get rare pe candy pokemon which is kind of for seal stone is kind of rare candy pokemon but it's not perfect because you need a v to play it so it's just not now and you only do it once per turn where this guy every time he irritates you get you got a rare candy pokemon rare candy pokemon 
I wish I could do that. Okay, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and attack. Immediately it tails. And Jalei does zero damage to the Chimpao passes. I mean, Jalei is pretty good here. He's gonna lose his first Chimpao. Sorry, he's gonna lose his first Gimme Goal, but he's gonna be fine after that. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna do a lot. He could actually go for the Radiant Greninja. I don't think the Owen is gonna play any mana phase. The problem is there's no Palkia on board, so no, we're not gonna be able to put Radiant Greninja. Never mind that. Uh, Manaphy was a good play there. Let's see if Owen is going to try to KO that Manaphy. There's Greninja. There's Greninja. Come on, Owen. What are you going to do? You got a lot. I know you. I've seen the air does. Don't act like you don't got him. Do we play another Champao? Is that our Iron Hands? Whoa. I think I saw Iron Hands. That's big, actually. That is the Iron Hands. So we don't go for it? I think if we go for the Iron Hands, that's crazy. That's the only way we get ahead, actually. Now I'm realizing Gimme Goal, like, I don't actually have a good matchup against it. I cannot KO anything, except if I'm with maximum belt, but then it's gonna have to, he's gonna have to actually KO me. There's a superior energy retrieval. We lose back Scalibur. This is why you want to Irida first. I don't. Oh. Didn't he draw two Iridas? Where the hell did his Iridas go? Was that Jalei's hand? No, there's the Irida. Okay, there's the Irida. Finally. He waited so long for the Irida. I mean, imagine you, you discarded both back Scalibers. That would have been really bad. Not sure why the, the the video is dying out here on us. That's not for me. I don't think so. I don't think it's for me. Let's wait. I don't think it's for me. Yeah, this is what happened uh, for them. This is the live stream cutting out. Okay, Radiant Greninja. He's got some stuff on him, but that doesn't mean he's gonna attack. It's just nice to keep it on him. Bunch of cross switchers here. Just, oof, we can get the man if he KO it. It's really not bad here. But we need one more energy, though. We need one more energy. This is not enough. Yeah, bringing the Manaphy. Retreat. There you are. Yep. Get the KO on the Manaphy. Good job. Now this is a real game. Owen is threatening a lot of damage here. Three Gimme Goals on the board. We need to evil all of them. Let's see if Jalei is going to be able to do it. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of cards. We do know he has a Pokestop. That's not going to help. Let's see what happens. Jalei Van Kampen, how are you going to do this? I do see that uh, Ultra Wall. Ultra Wall for the Gimme Goal. Oh, we could start with the Pokestop too. There's the Ultra Ball. Nice start. Whew. Whoa, he scared me. Welcome, welcome back. All right. We're going to super out in the Manaphy. <laughs> nice. Can we play it back out? We're going to have to Ultra Ball it out. That sucks. It's the only way to do that. We do have the Ultra Ball, but we want to bring Gimme Gold. We don't want to Ultra Ball. This is, this is tough, guys. I know Jalei has to actually bring the Manaphy out, but I think it slows him down one turn. That poke stop was not a good hit. It didn't give him anything. That's so unfortunate. Come on, Jalei, let's do this, baby. See what you got. You could go for the Ultra Ball for the Gimme Goal. Oh, yeah, let's see. Let's draw. Let's draw two. 
Good idea. Ah, nothing you actually need at all. So yeah, I think we just risk that Manaphy takes both our gimme goals out. Uh, or sorry, Raiding Ranger takes both our gimme goals out. And we're just going to go for the... For the... Yeah, we just Evo. Get a KO here. And let him play with our back back row. And we're just going to try to catch up by KOing the back Scalibur. We know that he only has one back Scalibur. I think if we could oh that se second back Scalibur right now, he needs a super. He needs to find super. Rod. That's so hard right now. That's so hard. Earthen vessel gets him the KO here. I think. No, we need superior injury retrieval. I don't know why he earthen vessel. All right, Owen Cameraman. He's kind of in trouble now because he ditched his other backscalibur out. There's a gimme go. Coin bonus is drawing so much now. There's the energy he needed. Now he gets the KO easy. Discard three. <laughs> I like how he just throws it at him. I guess because he's hitting for weakness. Makes sense why he's discarding much less. All right, let's see what uh, Owen wants to do here. I think we go for... Oh, well, that was a smart Evo on the Goldengo. Wow. If Goldengo didn't Evo, we would have been in trouble. Because uh, Owen would have been double KO. Now Owen is just going to leave some damage on the... Goldengo and take the gimme goal out potentially, but then he's leaving his backscalibur susceptible to be hurt. His backscalibur can die here. If backscalibur dies, we need super hard to bring it back. It's just too many pieces. There's no time to bring it back. I think that's game for Owen if he loses the oh there's the super rod. Yo, he's not gonna back put backscalibur back. No, no, I think what you should have done was put backscalibur back. You're making yourself really susceptible now to be kicked out of the game. If you lose the, if you lose Backscalibur, now you need to look for the second Backscalibur from your trash. It's going to be almost impossible for you to pick it out. Wow, he gets Battle VIP. I guess he just needs something to trash with the Superior Energy Retrieval. Makes sense. Trash that out. Let's go, baby. There's a chimpao. Okay, do we do... Now, what are we going to do? We're just going to attack, right, with the chimpao. So, we're going to retreat. Okay, we're going to retreat into the chimpao. And then we get the KO. Still need one... No, we don't need one more card. That's 240. That's 280. He's going to use his own ability though, Chien Pao. I guess that's the only difference is Chien Pao actually gives you two extra energies, whereas Goldengo cannot get two extra energies. But Goldengo gets two extra cards. He draws two. Okay. We did really good here as Owen. We did a lot of movement. Um, Just get the KO. I don't think you need five, you just need four. Sixty times four is two eighty. He only need four. Goldengo is only two sixty, no? That's weird. I don't know why he removed so much energy. Okay, Owen is a little bit ahead, but uh, we'll see how far that's going to go. Can't really get any more... I mean, if we if we get this kit back, Excalibur... No, it's not going to be a big deal, because if we have Irida, we can get the Super Rod back. So, I, I guess we don't go for the back, Excalibur. We go for this one shot on the Chiang Pao. And then... Maybe we could go for back, Excalibur. Let's see. There's a barrel in the back as well. There's so much now for Owen. Let's see what we're going to do here as gel. 
does run the Hisuian heavy ball a little bit late, but it's fine. He got what he wanted, the Palkia. Let's see what we're going to do. We have the cross switcher there. There's the Avery. I guess we toss out the Frigibax. If we toss out the Frigibax, we just go for the Excalibur. We win game, right? So he tosses out Radiant Greninja. He has to. He has to throw out Greninja. He cannot throw out anything else. You have to throw out the Greninja. You lose game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we could have just cross switched into the Excalibur in one game if he threw out the Frigibax. All right, um, let's see what Jell wants to do here. We could go for a Goldengo. Ah, no, not really. I guess we could poke stop, go for an Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball find us a Goldengo. I see we have enough to KO. We have two energies and we have an Earthen Vessel, so it should be fine. What is that? What did he just play? Super Energy Retrieval? Yeah, just a regular energy retrieval. Just getting two for free. Playing one down. Okay, he needs one more. No, he doesn't. He's hitting for... <laughs> he's hitting for weakness. Let's go, baby. Actually, Goldengo is better than Chiambao. That's crazy. You're seeing it right here. Goldengo is the top deck. He's just doing so much more than the Chiambao can. Doesn't even need to activate the Palkia. Just itself. Just... Consistently getting a Chimpao every turn. Owen needs to attack with a Radiant Greninja, but he doesn't have it anymore. He's whoa, nice super, nice Poke Stop, nice Poke Stop. That was amazing. All the energy super retrievals that we need. Do we have Chimpaos in the deck? No Chimpaos. See, this is what I'm talking about. If we literally went for the Vex Caliber, we win game. That means if we cross switch into the Vex Caliber, because we don't have super rods. Oh no, we do have one more super rod. Then never mind, yeah, going for the back scalper doesn't change anything then. That's crazy. The champ is in his hand, I don't know. I guess the nest ball is just looking for things. Looking what what's in the deck now. I'm gonna go for the super rod here with the Irida. If he has it, he can go for the super rod. That's really beneficial. Putting back Chimpo and back scalper can really help. Okay, we Super Rod and Frigibax. Put the Frigibax. I mean, what are you going to do with the Frigibax? Keep it in your hand for the Super Injury Retrieval. There's one Energy. And we should put the Chimpa. Oh, there's the Backscalibur. Smart idea. Smart idea put the Backscalibur back. I don't think you put the Energy back, to be honest. And I guess he plays Nest Ball so he can pick up the Radiant Greninja again. There's the one last Energy in his hand. He can just go ahead and trash it. There's Superior Energy Retrieval, 4. Now uh, we need a Chiampao. Where's the Chiampao? Is it in the hand? Yeah, I think it is in the hand. No, we're going to go for the Radiant Greninja attack. Oh, nice here. Gimme Goal. Okay, oh, that Gimme Goal is actually insane. This is really good. Not putting a Chiampao down. And then next turn, going for the Chiampao. Wow. Did Owen do it? Owen is making it happen, boys. Owen is actually making it happen. This is amazing. I see the Chiampao there. Next turn, we're going to be able to play it down now. He has to be worried, though. What if Jill Iono is him? He's going to only have one card. Do you play that Chiampao? I think you play that Chiampao down now. The problem is if you play it down now, you're, you're opening yourself to die. You don't want to do that. Dang. Yep, these two die. Wow, absolutely amazing work from Owen. Didn't leave a two prizer on board. If he can just survive right now, I think he actually won the game here. That was genius move right there. What a genius move to force that 
jail to pu get punished for not having a mana fee, even though he has it in his hand. He's just uh, in the deck. He just didn't pull it out. Punished him for playing that Goldingo down. That really hurts. That really, really hurts, guys. What are you going to do now as a as, as, uh, gel? Damn, this is an amazing game. We cannot two shot here with the Greninja. That's not enough. Goldingo can get a Radiant Greninja, but Xian uh, Pao has everything he needs. Owen kind of risked it all, putting everything in his hand. So if we Iono him, we win game pretty much here. But I don't see an Iono. It's tough, 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 tough. It's good. You don't want to conceal draw any of these. You want to conceal draw into an Iono. Or rocks. Anything. Anything anything disruption. You don't want anything disruption, really? That's crazy. Anything disruption wins game here. He's not gonna have all the pieces. Owen is not gonna have all the pieces. What is that? Is that a nest ball? I don't know what he just played, to be honest. Is that an Ultra Ball? I can't see it. It looks like a Quick Ball to me. The blue ball. But, I mean, Quick Ball is already out. Come on! I don't know what he's playing. He, there's an Irida. Irida can find him. I guess a Palkia. This is not enough. I'm not seeing anything here. That can win him the game. And uh, he needs to, he needed to Iono, he needed to Iono that freaking huge hand in Owen, that Owen has. Owen has one prize, if he played Iono there, he won game no matter what. He didn't even need to attack. He would have won game. He would have forced, oh well I guess uh, Owen has Barbaro, never mind, Iono doesn't even hurt. What am I saying man, he has Barbaro. Unless you go for the Barbaro, okay there it is, Goldingo has, he's forced to do this. This is not enough, guys. I don't think this is enough. I don't think this is enough. I'm going to tell you why. Because all we need is an Irida and we have her in our hand. Yeah, there she is. All we need is Irida. Now, our only hope is that he doesn't have enough rare candies. That's it. That's the way we win the game, really, is he doesn't have enough candies. That's a really bad way to win games. Okay, we pick up all our energies, doesn't really matter here. Tossing out for draw two. Doesn't really do anything. Getting that back Excalibur out of the game. Damn, he wanted that quick cross switcher. It doesn't matter. Irida getting him back Excalibur, but he needs rare candy, he doesn't have it. Oh my god, he doesn't have their cross switch. Oh no, Rare Candy's in his hand! <gasps> That's game, right? That's game. Because Chien Pao KOs the Palkia. With the Spirit Energy Retrieval, he KOs it. Oh my god, we're on game 3 here. Game 3, nice! Let's go game 3. 20, 30 minutes to go, that's not bad, that's not bad. They have all the time in the world. Absolutely amazing job. Absolutely amazing job, guys. Let's go game three. Goldengo versus Chimpao. Final game. Come on, baby. Chimpao. Two Chimpaos. No. And a Raving Greninja. Big deal. Oh, he's not going to be able to play the game. He only has one uh, Chimpao. Now, he does have two battle VIPs, though. It's going to feel nice. Jale throwing that battle VIP right in the middle of the game. Wow. This is going to be a bad game for Cameron. Cameraman. Cameraman. Damn, it's going to be a tough one. Because he has to... He can't reutilize Radiant Greninja, which is crazy. Imagine Jell knew that Greninja is in the prizes. He would not even have to Manaphy here. Unfortunately, he's going to actually have to play Manaphy. 
So that battle VIP is going to be a little bit slow. I'm getting him ahead. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Just a bunch of energies. Wow. He actually realizes, like, man, I don't think I'm going to be able to Manaphy, man. Oh, no. Manaphy's not even in here. In there. I don't see it in there. I didn't know he prized the Manaphy. I didn't see it. Prized. All right, well, Jell, don't worry, man. Prizing the Manaphy does not hurt. I promise you that because Owen doesn't have Greninja. Owen does not actually have the Greninja in the deck. And he doesn't know it yet. He has no idea he doesn't have the Greninja. What is Jell going to do? Still scouting the deck. Okay, Palkia already in Greninja. The, the stream is really like laggy. I'm not liking it at all. Does he pass here? I don't see anything else in his hand. Concealed cards, I guess, and then pass. Really, that. Oh, Earthen Vessel. I guess we could Earthen Vessel slow so we don't have to draw into anything. There's the Manaphy, I think. That's crazy. Did he just draw into the Manaphy? Yeah, he just drew into the Manaphy. That's insane. That's insane that he just drew into it. That's crazy. That's almost impossible. I didn't think he was going to be able to do that. And then he just, uh, he doesn't even Earthen Vessel. I think that's going to be maybe a little bit scary. Maybe he didn't have anything to ditch from his hand. That's why. He's going to realize now, damn, there's no Greninjas. Where's my Greninjas? <coughs> damn, Owen just realized he doesn't have any Greninjas. And no Chimpows either. He's panicking. He's like, I don't see a single Chimpow in here. This is insane. This is insane. But I do see all my Baxcalibers, though. Yeah, I don't know if the Baxcalibers are going to help you when you can't attack. You don't have a single attacker. He's literally have to gonna, gonna have to rely on Iron Hands and the chi one Chimpow. And then hope to God that Chimpow finds him another Chimpow. And then the second Chimpow finds him a third Chimpow. And then the third Chimpow finds him a Radiant Greninja. That's it. That's the only way he can play this game. He cannot play any, any other way. This is crazy. Tough game there for Owen. We're lagging really hard. It's not my fault, guys. He has two VIP. He's been starting with a lot of VIPs, though. So he's been consistent with the VIPs. Really nice. Frigibacks. Another VIP. Another Frigibacks. Potentially here. Yeah, he would have played Greninja here. No Greninja. That slows him down heavy, guys. Not having Greninja. He's going to have to just put another Bidoof. Damn. Yeah, usually you put a Greninja there. Damn. 3 VIP. That's crazy in the championship. Let's go. Let's go. What championship is this? That's crazy. Man, Owen is just... I can't believe it. I'm sure if I was Owen, I'd be distraught. I couldn't believe it. Two Chimpows and a Radiant Greninja prize. Like, how am I supposed to play the game? Literally, all his attackers are gone. What is Owen going to do? Yeah, he just passes. Yeah, Jell is like, what? That's it? Are you sure? <laughs> Where's your Greninja? <laughs> Jell is like, wait, three VIP, no Greninja? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's have fun with this game. <laughs> let's go, Jell. Oh, man, Jell is looking good here, man. If he can get a good setup, which is very simple, very simple. I think I saw a Pokestop in his hand. I'm sure he's thin thinning out the deck really quickly before he goes for the Pokestop. So he can hit the items he needs. I mean, right now, all he needs is an Ultra Ball and he gets a KO on the big Chimpa, which is huge getting him ahead. All right, Owen. Owen, you could still do it. Owen, you're not really... I know it sucks a little bit, but you're not that far behind. This concealed cards. I don't know why Jell is just really animated today. He's really excited to be in the championship. You can tell. I'm happy for him. Damn. There's the puck stop. You're going to have to go for the Ultra Ball now, guys. We need an Ultra Ball. Yeah, Jell is really animated in all his movements. 
I don't know if the judge is going to call that out. Okay, there's no ball. He needs the ultra ball. No ultra ball. Really tough here, guys. This is this is really bad. No, no, no. So we don't get to draw anything. We don't get to attack this turn. Yikes. So Owen is actually going to get to set up. Wow. You know, if you kill this uh, Chiampa, we potentially win game, right? Because the Owen will not have be able to get a single prize. No, this is so scary. Jill is not going to be able to one shot here. No, this is so bad. Literally, he just needs an ultra ball. He has everything he needs. He just needs an ultra ball. This is so bad, guys. I'm so sad. Poor Jill. Yeah, I get it, Jill. You can look at your hand tool forever. It's just not going to do nothing. Pushing forward the rating ranger to not lose a gimme goal is smart. Because you don't want to lose your mana fee either, but it's also not doing much. Yeah, that's that's he's gonna have to rely on the puck stop. That's pretty much it. And he did give that puck stop to Owen, so we'll see if Owen hits something good with this. I mean Owen does have a bit barrel, so we potentially could see a bit barrel first. Let's see. I get it. When you don't have any cards, I get it. It's just so weird. When you don't have the card you want and you don't want to play the game. Like, when you want to make a play that you don't want to play, it's just you don't want to make it happen. And I get why the guy is just not wanting to play it down. There's the Irida. Irida Barrel, Bay Barrel is actually insane. This is really good. Irida actually activates us right now. So we get a kill here on the Greninja. This is good value. Yeah, I don't think we be barrel right now. I think we be barrel later. Later, I think first we go into the uh, big back caliber, then we be barrel. Yeah, let's go back caliber. Come on, Owen. Yeah, let's get to back caliber. Use the uh, Erida. No, oh my God, he's actually gonna be barrel first. Uh, no, uh, nobody can explain to me why this happened right now. Uh, nobody can explain that to me. Why didn't he Chi and Pao first at least? See, you, you you can tell the guy's a little bit tilted. He, he, he would have chimp out first. I don't know why he didn't do that. I think he forgot. Stint. First thing he does is go for the barrel. It's crazy. I would have at least hit the poke stop first. All right. We draw one super rod. This could help us a little bit. There's the rare candy back caliber. Come on, Owen. Owen, come on, man. You need to get the setup. You have everything you need, man. Just, uh, you got the super rod now. When the cha champ out goes, you just bring it back. You're fine. He's just touching everywhere with super cold. And uh, yeah, that's all we're going to do here is attach. So he runs four Chimpows or what? What's that last card? What's the last card in his deck? In his hand. What's that last card? I can't see. What's the last card? I don't know what that last card is. It's Super Energy Retrieval? Okay, Owen. Relax a little bit. Just get the KO. Relax. Uh, maybe he's not rushing. Dang, a fridge backs. That's not going to help us at all. Oh no! No! I mean, how is he supposed to know what prizes he's to pick? That's the problem. This game is not a good game. Oh my God! He drew into the ultra ball. Yo, he gets the key on the champ. It's a little bit slow. It's a little bit late because we have now the super rod. We also have the back caliber, but we needed that ultra ball so bad. We do have the puck stop now. I think we start with that potentially. No, I think we go for the Ultra Ball first. To be honest. I think we Ultra Ball first. That makes sense. Because then you get the coin bonus as well. Ugh, man, Jell, just stop throwing shit around, bro. Okay, an Ultra Ball, Nest Ball, not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, we needed all these. Now we can get two Gimme Goals. Really, really good. Okay, Rating Range is going back into the deck. Bringing it back out with 
a super uh, uh, nest ball as well. Okay. Now we're gonna nest ball the Radiant Greninja and then Ultra Ball for two Goldengos. We could Superior Energy Retrieval, get all four cards and then toss them all out and then Superior Energy Retrieval again. We'll see. For two Ultra Balls. That way you only have to ditch three cards instead of four. Or instead of six, sorry. I guess it would be five cards instead of six. There's a nest ball, man. This stream is really bad. This stream is really bad, guys. I'm so frustrated with this stream. So frustrating, the stream, guys. Sorry, I jumped ahead. Sorry. Okay, we're back. There it is. Uh, he hasn't put the Goldingos back. Oh no, he did, he did. Wait, 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 what the hell am I doing? I, I, I moved way too far forward. I guess he, for another turn, he doesn't get the Ultra Ball out. No, no, wait, this is later. No, wait, wait, this is earlier. Here it is now. He's going to Ultra Ball. Now he actually Ultra Balls one of his Super Injury Retrievals. That's big. For the Palkia, not a Goldengo. What's he saying? <laughs> bro, gel, bro. You need a show. You need a YouTube channel just for you, brother. He's just doing so many movements on the table. It's funny. <coughs> Jell is happy to be on the championship. It's amazing to see that. There you are. Moving the Palkia forwards. Palkia is going to go ahead and activate itself. Man, we could have just got Dengos as well. To get a big attack on the Shampoo. Yeah, it's okay. You don't want Greninja. Don't worry about it. You don't need Greninja. And then Chimpao just dies here. Once Chimpao dies, Owen needs a way to come back. I mean, he does have the Super Energy Retrieval. I mean, sorry, the Super Rod. And then he's going to be looking for an Ultra Ball. He can find that with the Puck Stop. Can really get him ahead. Oh, a Nest Ball is there. So a Super Rod into a Nest Ball gets him the Chimpao. And then he can get a KO, getting another Chimpao. So he's back. He's back in the game, guys. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. He's back in the game here. He's going to be able to get that Palkia KO. All he needs to do is, uh, yeah, Nest Ball. And then he, that's it. He just retreats. And then Superior Engine Retrievals gets a KO on that Palkia. Because he has five cards on the board and that's 300 damage. So Goldengo does push a little bit less damage, but uh, it's so much easier to pull out. You just need the spear injury retrievals. You don't need the backscalibur. Chimpao is forwards. Chimpao is so easy to activate right now. What is that? Spear injury retrieval, getting rid of the fridge backs, getting all four energies, super calling them all on the Chimpao. And then getting a KO here is huge. Oh, yeah, first you be barreled for sure. Oh, yeah, you got a second KO next turn as well. Oh, yeah, we got a super rod as well. We can pull out the Chimpao so easy. There it is, a KO. Go ahead, Owen. Get the KO, yeah. Oh, I guess he never poke stopped. So he gets a nest ball. 
throws out the back Excalibur. It's not a big problem because he does have the Super Rod in hand. I have never seen him use the Iron Hands, so maybe it's not a big deal for him. He doesn't need the Iron Hands. I mean, he could activate it though. Very simple. With one attachment. Let's see what he wants to do. Yeah, you just get the KO here, I think. You don't even Super Rod yet. You wait a little bit for the Chien Pao to die, then you Super Rod. Get rid of all your energies, yep. 300 damage. Good job, good job, Owen. Picking up the Chien Pao now. In two turns, he might have double Chien Pao or a Chien Pao Green Ninja. Let's see what he does. Starting off with the Concealed Cards. Now, what he wants to do here, gel is probably just KO the Chien Pao. I think that's very simple to do. An Ultra Ball. But you also want to get that Goldengo set up on both guys. Kind of just uh, to stop having to search for Goldengo. And then you just want to search for your energy. So, I would go for... Ultra Ball for the Goldengo. Get that coin pass. Oh, we have double Ultra Ball here. There's a good chance we could also just superior. I mean, you don't want to waste superior energy retrieval. Makes sense. Makes sense. You don't want to waste your energy or superior retrievals. Okay, let's just get Goldengo in. We have another Ultra Ball, but first we'll draw two. Make sure that we can. Uh, Draw anything that uh, we don't need and toss it out with the Ultra Ball. I think that's what we do here. We can also poke stop as well if we want to. First we coin coin bonus and then we poke stop, I guess. There's the second gold dingo. No need for Ultra Ball. This is amazing. There's one draw. Cross switcher. Yeah. Wow. We got the cross switcher on. Activated. I don't think you go for the Baxcalibur. You're a little bit far behind, actually. You're actually really far behind. Well, you're not that far behind, but you don't want Owen to get too far ahead. So, you want to get a two-prizer uh, two here. If you get a two-prizer here, you force Owen to go to a one-prize mode. And it's going to be really good. With the Manaphy on board, you're going to be really safe. So, yeah, this is right. This is right. You do not want to do anything except kill the Chi and Pao here. You don't want to move anything forwards. You don't want to cross switcher right now. You want to get ahead in the in the prizing. Yeah, there it is. Killing the Chi and Pao. Absolutely amazing. He has this I think he has the spear injury retrievals to kill any Chi and Pao's next turn. Owen is forced to use Chi and Pao. He doesn't have any Radiant Greninjas. Even if he does, that doesn't do anything now. Gel obviously learned. From that uh, mishap last turn, I realized, man, I'm not gonna leave myself susceptible for a Radiant Greninja KO. Let's see how Owen wants to respond to this. Owen is gonna Ultra Ball for what? Oh my god, you know what's so crazy? Owen never drew into a Chien Pao. He literally has Chien Pao, Chien Pao, Radiant Greninja in his. Uh, Prizes right now. It's crazy. We don't have a super rod, do we? We do have Iri though, because she could find us to a super rod. No, no, we have a super rod. I see it. So we could play the whole game, the Chimpao. The problem is we don't want to pull the Chimpao out. What we really want is the Radiant Greninja, but even the Radiant Greninja doesn't do what you want it. So it doesn't matter, I think, here. Unless you're going to attack with Baxcalibur, you have to attack with the Chien Pao. And when you attack with the Chien Pao, you basically force yourself to lose game. Because you, what you wanted to do as Owen is he wanted to keep a one prizer on board. Make sure there's no two prizers that can be KO'd. But he's just behind. And Gel is in a position where Radiant Greninja doesn't win game. And so... One thing Owen could do is if he could cross switcher in the Manaphy and Radiant Greninja it, then the Owen is for then Gel is forced to kill the Radiant Greninja. Then Owen can KO the Goldingo with the Chien Pao, But uh, let's see, he doesn't have the Greninja. That's the problem. 
but he doesn't really have to attack with the Greninja. He could attack with the Backscalibur. If he wants. He can still KO the Manaphy with the Backscalibur. All he needs to do is KO that Manaphy. Yeah, he needs... Yeah, exactly. He needs to do attack with the Backscalibur. This is smart. I don't know if he has another rare candy, but he's going to have to attack with the Backscalibur. There's nothing else he can do here. If he doesn't attack with Backscalibur, he loses game. The problem is the second Backscalibur leaves you really susceptible to lose. Yeah, he's just going to shuffle. He's not going to even put the second Backscalibur in hand. Yeah, he's forced to pull out the Radiant Greninja. And he's going to have to attack with this Backscalibur. It's crazy. It's happening. He's going to superior injury retrieval. That's crazy. There's four energies. We're going to kill the Greninja. But we don't have a way. Damn it. We don't have a way to bring... I get, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, Owen. You don't, you want to play Nest Ball right now to put energy on the Chien Pao, but you don't want to do it either. I get it, man. But you're, you're so behind right now. Okay, he drew the Chien Pao. He still is not going to use it, though. Okay, now we can go for Backscalibur, but that's not enough. Oh my god, he's not going to even go for the Backscalibur. I guess he realizes he doesn't have any more rare candies. Oh no, Backscalibur is in his hand. It was Backscalibur, it wasn't a... There's Erida. I don't think he has any more rare candy though. Yeah, I don't think he has more rare candy. Damn. So the second he attacked... Oh man, that's it. That's game here, I think, because he cannot... It was smart. It was insanely smart what Owen did. That's exactly what you wanted to do. But I don't think Owen has any way to get a second Backscalibur on board. Unless he has another rare candy, which he didn't show. But there's a reason he never pulled the Backscalibur the first time. I don't think he has another rare candy. Or he would have evo to a second Backscalibur. I bet you he would have. Why would you open yourself to get a Yonod and lose game? Or Roxanne? I think we just called... Oh, man, what is Jell thinking here? Dude, the stream is so bad, guys. I'm so sorry about this. Lagging so bad. Alright, Jell needs to just... Okay, oh, Backscalibur, he wins game. I, th I don't think he realizes this. Just KO back to Calibur, you win game. If you can find a way to get rid of that Pokestop, you win game too. But I don't think he can. I don't think he can win the KO that Pokestop. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Is that Roxanne? Or is that Avery? Roxanne! <gasps> Amazing. That's game. That's gel. Showing hand, showing that he has game. Now, what's crazy about this is uh, he needs superior energy retrievals if he doesn't get them. But he's going to be able to get them with the puck stop, though. So he's, he's fine. That's why he's smiling. He's like, haha, Owen, good game. Have fun. Draw your two cards, Owen. Have fun with them. I'm going to take your back to Calibre and win game. Yay, yay, yay. Bro, he needs to get rid of this poke stop once he gets rid of this. Okay, there's the spirit injury retrievals. Yeah, he got game. Also, he's got coin bonuses galore. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a very very good game for him here. Gel shows you that Golding will come come back from the depth of, of of destruction. Look at this. Four energies KOing the backscalibur here with three. Is all he needs. Actually, he needs four. No, no, three is all he needs, right? Because his weakness. We'll see. Nothing hit. First time gel actually whips. How much energy is he gonna spend on this three? It's 
crazy how cheap Goldengo is, bro. It's one energy. You forget about that. Oh, he, so he is hitting for weakness. That's amazing. I didn't know metal is... I guess metal is weakness of ice, not water, right? Yeah, metal is weakness of ice, not water. That's why. These guys are ice. Alright, so what? Oh, oh, lost game here. Unless he can champ out. Oh, no, he can't even champ out. I don't think he can rare candy. He just got uh, rock sand. We don't know what's in his hand. There's a cross switcher, I see it. I guess we could... Oh, yeah, the barrel helps a little bit against the rock sand. That's true. <sighs> Iron hands can help us win game. If we can go for a uh, cross switcher... No, no, we can't. We can't actually get any power or energies on. There's the Baxcalibur and the rare candies. Oh, my God. We need Irida. Oh, no. This is why you should have actually... Evo, the second Baxcalibur. You would have won game. All right. Really, all he needs is... A book stop to hit hard here with rare candy. Or he needs to draw first with the barrel and then puck stop hit. Oh my god, he hit Erda. Oh! This is insane! He can back Scalibur. He's got the game! Why is he not picking up? Oh yeah, Rare Kens is in hand. That's game, that's game. He's got game. That's insane. I can't believe Owen did it. I can't believe Owen did it, guys. Oh my god. He has all the energies he needs. Super called in. And GG! <laughs> Owen gets the W. Gel gets up. He's mad. <laughs> After all the animation. No, he, he, he's not mad. He just hugs him. GG. Bro, you can tell Gel was having such a good time. Jell is having such a good time, bro. What? That was insane play. I can't believe Owen came back from that. The whole time he was behind, guys. The whole time. Absolutely amazing. And Jell was such a great player, man. Such a happy, happy player. Such a pleasant player. You can tell the whole game. He's just so happy, so pleasant. Having a good time. Having fun. Gets up, hugs his opponent. What a good game, Gel. Gel, you did good, man. You did everything you could. What happens is that this genius player, Owen, just puts you in a position where you're forced to take a one prizer. You can't take any two prizers. And that's what's winning him game every single time. That's absolutely insane. I love that he can put himself in a position where he doesn't have any two prizers on board. Showing you the power of the Chiampao. Chiampao actually took a regionals. Wow. That's insane. So good. So happy for him. GG.